What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. This car might look familiar to you guys, especially on my channel. I reviewed this, man, years ago. The original orange version, I think it was V2 or even V1. I really appraised that car. I loved that car compared to the DHK Zombie, the uh, JLB Cheetah, and this guy. They're pretty much all in the same ballpark. I really did like this car because it's a low slung. In a lower center of gravity, it just really appealed to me. Uh, I liked the way it drove. It didn't wasn't as aggressive as like the JLB. It didn't want to always flip over. I really liked it. But there were some issues. The original one didn't have this plate at the bottom, and a lot of uh, people were experiencing crack chassis, uh, bent uh, bent chassis, and all that kind of stuff, especially in colder climates. I never had that issue here. I never had an issue with mine. But uh, it's good that uh, Vicar addressed it. I've had several Vicar cars, well, not just a JLB. I've had their buggy, and I've also have their um, short course truck. They're all great. I really do like JLB. Sorry, I really do like Vicar. I think they're a great uh, car, especially value for money wise. Really cool. I've still got the uh, front and rear lights, as you can see. Really impressive dual uh, rate, or well, dual spring shocks, I believe. But uh, yeah, it still goes hard. I still think these are great. Great, great cars. Now, this is on 3S. It includes a hard case wiper. Still plenty powerful. But, uh, quick unboxing, and then we're going to take it out on the, uh, on some jumps and see how it performs. You would have seen many of these unboxings already, so let's not waste too much time. Let's get cracking. Alright, it is back again now. You would have seen this guy on the channel, but this is the updated Bison Extreme version 3. Now, it's not just a different colour, it's also got that chassis plate as well. Uh, apart from that, I don't think there's much, too much difference, so I'm not going to waste too much time uh, with this unboxing. You can check out my older videos, it would have been about a year or so ago. There's probably many videos on the internet now about it. But let's just quickly see what you get. Now, um, this was... Well, it still is one of the, I think, one of the best value bang for buck cars out there. This and the Cheetah and the DHK Hobby stuff is awesome value. So first up, you get a charger. Then the 2S or 3S LiPo charger. You charge it with a 2S or the 3S uh, actual balance plug. Just slam that in there. And that's sort of it. Look, if you're hobby, if you're in the hobby for a while, you probably have your own probably four button charger anyway, but uh, it's good that it's there and people just starting out have something new. Here's your 2 x 4 gigahertz controller. Now this is different to the original one that I had and it has, it comes with batteries in there, that's strange. That's pretty cool, alright, but fair enough, it comes with batteries, but this definitely is different to the one I had before and uh, they must have been on or that's weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'll change those out, but it's got your basic um, throttle dual rates steering, uh, reverse and throttle switches and stuff like that and uh, yeah, it's all short. It, it does what it, it it's a cheap 2 x 4 gigahertz controller but it would get you out of trouble and it'll be probably more than enough for what you need this for. Next up, instruction manuals, something, uh, some lights or stickers actually, small little uh, three set allen keys and uh, your instruction for the 120 amp ESC because this is the uh, quick one, it says it goes over 100 kilometers an hour but yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Now, I don't know if you can hear that noise, it's so windy here today. Here we go, we've got the wing that you've got to put on the back. Simple stuff, two hardware screws, slam that guy on the back. Nothing else to that. And then we can get to the car. And I've always liked the, uh, the Bison's kind of like a low slung type of RC. Kind of very similar to the original like E-Revo. Um, I kind of like the driving characteristics more than the uh, JLB Cheetah. But that's just my point of view. I've had them all. Okay, let's not muck around. I do like this colour actually. The other one for well, the original was like an orangey and a green, I think, and a black colour. It looked really cool. Uh, this is a very similar. I do like the colour scheme. Can't go wrong really. Now in here we have, and this always happens with these cars. Every single time I've got them in the mail, they've always come loose. You get 120 amp ESC mixed with a, a 3670 2650 KV brushless motor. It's uh, I, it's proven it's proven really well when I've had them. Now it does look like a rebranded hobby wing. If we actually let's rip it back out of here, out of its little cocoon, let's say. I think they are like a rebranded hobby wing, but they are great. So you can run a 2s to 4s, and these things on 4s 
I go absolutely gangbusters now the wheels of balloon and all that kind of stuff you really need to run different tires because I thought these would just expand like crazy they run a good set of pro lines on there or something like that but this powerhouse even on but even on 2s putting around it's fun 3s is good 4s is crazy but uh, that's what we'll be doing uh, here we have uh, this is it says here a five channel radio no six channel radio one of those channels is going to be for the lights and we'll plug it all in six channels so it's going to be front and rear lights is going to be uh, front and rear will have the uh, the lights now what I do like about these and these batteries are actually pretty good these are actual hard case 3500 milliamp 3s or 11.1 .1 volt 25c batteries I've still got some of these from the original one and they are still going strong no issues with them I run them in the crawlers that's why I like them because you can bash them around a bit you don't knock them there's no real risk of puncturing them but um, okay let's have a look same as the other ones but what's different and a lot of people had issues with was the chassis bending and flexing and cracking especially in cooler climates like in the states here in Australia I didn't have any issues with mine but it's got this reinforced chassis plate reinforces it all nicely it's still got the uh, metal uh, suspension pins up uh, the you can see this there holds a front and rear suspension pin, pin braces as well everything else looks fairly similar uh, leave a comment in the description if you know what else is changed but apart from that you know, you've got your metal geared servo everything works as it should right now let's check that everything works I do like this new uh, controller or the light anyway it looks pretty cool apparently it is six channel that's a uh, yeah I don't think that's the case but let's turn it all on everything's plugged in yep Seems to work quite nicely. The only thing I'm looking at is these lights aren't functioning as they should. Now is it just because... There we go. It was in channel 6. So if that's your case, put it in channel 5. There we go, front and rear lights. There we go, pretty cool. Now I'm not going to waste too much time. You would have seen thousands of these videos. Like I said, it's not new. But let's get it on um, somewhere we can give it a, a good old thrash couple back flips, front flips if we can and uh, just give it a good old good old uh, RC tanks and trucks beat up okay just had the little skate uh, bowl here I know it's very windy like always when I do my videos it's always windy but Bison stock battery 3S 3.5000 milliamp hour 25C battery let's go Now these really go well on, um, well just out of the box, this is like I said, 3S, you can't beat them, great car, and I haven't been out here in ages, it's been like forever since I've, well, how's it been so busy with other things, it's been forever since I've came out here. Tires are ballooning, they haven't changed it. It seems like they haven't changed the compound at all on these tires. Oh, good stuff. So you can still do backflips, um, oh sorry, yeah, backflips on stock battery. Let's try that again. For sure, easy. I'm not sure about a front flip, let's try that as well. Let's try a front flip. Well, kind of a kind of a front flip, you could say. That was like a textbook uh, back flip. Let's get a full a flat out pass. Like I said, stock, no changes. Coming up all the way to a forest battery and uh, obviously a different C rating. It'll be much, much quicker. Probably what, another 20% faster or so. Let's get some more jumps. That's what we all want to see.
Oh, something happened. Well, that's what happened. It seems like the pin has already came out of these. Oh no, that was a that's what was a problem with the original ones as well. These pins, these little cups that hold these suspension arms or the suspension pin had a tendency to come out from memory and that's all that happened so didn't break per se just a pin came out uh, yeah okay I can't really say much on that but that's a bit disappointing um, I wasn't really hitting it hard you can see the jumps I landed quite well those um, back flips seem to be okay uh, mm, okay hopefully I can find the part which I can, it's just there. That's all it is. So let me see if I can actually put that pin back in. Okay, no, uh, no dice. The suspension pin actually has sheared off at this end. You can see it's kind of broken away. And it's, yeah, it just popped out. No biggie, I guess. It happens all the time, but that really wasn't a big landing. Um, and it's, it's on dirt and grass, so. Oh well, happens, I have to find another one of these, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if this is still a problem with the uh, bisons, because well, my other one, I don't think I snapped a pin. I did know that these had an issue, but... Uh... And I just thought I'd quickly jump into the end of the video. Oh, I actually fixed it. It's all ready to rock and roll. Didn't need to replace that bushing at all. It's got to take off this front plate. It uh, allows you access to the two pins so you can slide them out. And it's fixed. All ready to go. now. Uh, a good tip is if you want to not waste money on um, suspension pins all the time, as long as they're not thread on, on either end, it's like a straight smooth shaft, just buy a thread of, uh, sorry, a rod of like stainless steel uh, tubing, or not tubing, an uh, actual rod in that diameter that you need, and you can just cut it down the length with uh, a Dremel. Simple as that, so it's all ready to rock and roll. Vicar Bison lives again. Back to the video. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not going to say it's a bad car at all. No worries. It's, it's, it's still a great car. I've broken many suspension pins on other ones, but uh, it's, just a bit of a, it's just a bit of a hassle that it happened now. Anyway, links in the description when I go check it out. Hopefully get this part. I should have one at home, and uh, we'll do another video in the near future. But um, thanks, guys. Steve here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Like it if you do. And if you haven't, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the good stuff. And uh, cheers, guys. See you in the next video.